We want to balance the budget. They don't. We want to restrain spending. They want to spend more money. We offer modernization, reform, growth, and opportunity. They are clinging to the status quo. More taxing, more spending, more borrowing. We owe the American people a responsible, balanced budget. That's what we are delivering today, and I urge support of this resolution. Well, Paul Ryan's pitch worked. 221 House Republicans backed his plan that seeks to slash almost $5 trillion in spending and balance the budget in 10 years. And Senate Democrats, of course, promptly voted the Ryan plan down last night. With me now, Michigan Democratic Congressman Sander Levin, the top Democrat on the Ways and Means Committee. Congressman, I know you've spoken out forcefully uh, against the Ryan budget. Let me ask you this. Uh, where do we go? Uh, Republican-controlled House, Democratic-controlled Senate. Obviously, the House the Senate made very clear that the Ryan plan was not their vision uh, for the future of budgeting in this country. Where do we go? How do we resolve these differences on where to spend money and why? It's going to be very difficult. Uh, the Republican conference has really become radicalized. I was reading a clip from Politico a few days ago that had the Republicans in Georgia saying that they had to be more conservative than the other, more radical than the other. So the distance has really widened dramatically, and it's hard to know how you deal with extremism. And the Ryan budget, the rhetoric, it doesn't really balance. It has, for example, tax cuts from 39.6 to 25. It doesn't say how you would get there. It would produce a hole of four to five trillion dollars without any indication how you would fill it. So it's very, very difficult to see. We need to try. But they are so extreme, it doesn't provide a basis for compromise. Well, Congressman, let me ask you this. Uh, uh, have you privately had conversations, whether uh, with Republicans on the Ways and Means Committee or Republicans in the House generally, that is at all encouraging, but private conversations that, that lead you to believe there is some wiggle room here, or is what they have said publicly, uh, no new revenue, uh, no tax increases, is that what they're saying privately as well? That's what they're saying. It's really disturbing. There have been so few conversations. The gap is so wide, even on ways and means. I've been there now for uh, 26 years. This has been the worst in terms of sitting down and talking things over. Apparently, the Republicans gather in a conference. What they do is to say, how do we pull together people who, on, in some cases, are very much on the extreme? So they come up with a budget that really isn't balanced, that would essentially end Medicare over time, would cut Medicaid, the primary source of long-term care, by over half a trillion dollars. That makes it very difficult. We have to try. But the extremism that has captured the Republicans in the House, I think, creates a gap that's very difficult to bridge, unfortunately. And we'll try. Uh, before, before I let you go, I do want to ask you a little bit on politics. I can't get away from it. Uh, your brother uh, has announced he's retiring from the U.S. Senate, creating an open uh, Senate seat in Michigan for the first time in a long time. Uh, Republicans making some noise about the possibility of picking that seat up. Uh, and a member of your delegation, Gary Peters, a Democrat, seen as sort of the leading Democratic candidate. How confident do you feel that that's a seat you can keep? And is Gary Peters going to be your candidate? It's not sure who will be the candidate. Gary's a, a very strong figure. Now, I think we'll keep it in part because the Republican Party, that's shown in Michigan, has gone so far to the right. It's not uh, easy to, to find voters who I think will be attracted to that kind of extremism. So I'm confident, but we have a job to do in the Congress. I heard your earlier reports about 2000. 16. We've got a job to do in 2013. Uh, a good point uh, and much appreciated. I would note on the Senate uh, uh, a Republican has not won a Michigan Senate seat since 1994, which I'm sure you well know, Congressman. I thanks think for it will stay time. that way. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir.